Hey, good afternoon, Maura Medic One, and today we got a question here. It's a good question, and I probably should have uh, addressed that in the video, but uh, we'll take care of that right now. He asks, what's the difference between doing a top-end job and a short block? I recommend doing short blocks. A short block will come completely assembled with all new components, new crankshaft, new piston, all new bearings, seals, top end. So basically you're going to be just renewing the heart of your equipment. Now, if you were to do a top end job, you would just be replacing the cylinder and piston. You would basically take the piston off of the connecting rod here, take your G-clips out, push the wrist pin out, and take your piston off. However, where you leave the bottom end alone. If you would have uh, a leak, you'd have to repair the leak. Uh, your crank pin bearings, you'd have to make sure all of your bearings inside the engine are you know good enough to put back into service. You're, you got two big bearings here, got one on the flywheel side, and you have one here on the starter side. You'd have to make sure, like I said, all your seals are good. And before I ever attempted to do a top-end job, I definitely would do a, you know, a cylinder leakage test. But that's the main difference, is you'd just be replacing your piston and cylinder and leaving the bottom end of the engine alone versus buying a complete ready to go engine from the factory. And it's not that much more money and it's a heck of a lot less labor to go this way. If you rebuild this engine, you're looking at a couple of hours late, uh, labor to you know go ahead and tear this thing apart, replace bearings, but uh, yeah, I hope that answers your question there, guy. And uh, if it did, let me know in the comments. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Y'all have a great day.